So today, we're going to be looking at the Highboy DK1, which is an electric dirt bike that's designed for kids ages 3 to 10 years old. And in this video, we're going to do an overview of the specs and the features of the DK1, and give some initial impressions of this motorcycle. So the first thing to be asking yourself is why would I get my kid an electric dirt bike over a gas one? And there's a couple of reasons. First is the noise pollution compared to a gas dirt bike. Gas dirt bikes are pretty awesome, and they're a ton of fun, but unfortunately, they're extremely loud. And if your little one wants to ride down the street, there's a really good chance they're going to upset neighbors with the noise. And second is maintenance and costs. Gas dirt bikes require much more maintenance than an electric dirt bike. With gas, you have to do oil changes and motor rebuilds. So if you're not a good mechanic, those maintenance bills can add up. Also, you have to spend a lot of money on fuel to run them. And where I live, premium gas is almost 7 bucks a gallon, so it's not very cheap to run a gas dirt bike. Whereas recharging an electric dirt bike only costs cents. But before we start deep diving into the DK1, I just want to clarify this bike is not meant to compete with a Honda, KTM, or any other of the big brands whose electric dirt bikes cost thousands of dollars. This bike is designed to introduce your child into the world of motorcycles, and let them enjoy the fun and joy of riding on two wheels. So now we've gone over why you might consider an electric dirt bike for your child, let's go over the features, specifications, and what to expect when you unbox and assemble the DK1. So when you receive the box, it's not too bad weight-wise, with the whole box weighing in about 50 pounds. The bike came with a lot of packing protection, and there was no damage to the bike when unboxing. So the process of building the DK1 was insanely easy. It only requires you to attach the handlebars with four bolts, and to attach the bottom of the rear shock with one bolt, with the tools being provided. The whole process should only take about 10 or 15 minutes, regardless of your mechanical skills. The part that I love so much is that it's so simple to assemble, you can actually have your little one help you out, and you can get them involved in the process so they can get their hands dirty and get them immersed into working on things, even if it's on such a basic level. The DK1 comes with a 36 volt lithium battery, and it should provide roughly about 13 miles of range or about 90 minutes of ride time. So I haven't been able to verify this yet, but I have gone a two and a half mile ride with my daughter, and it used up roughly 25% of the battery and choose using the second power level the whole time. So the number sounds feasible under the right conditions. The bike only weighs in about 38 pounds, so it's really easy to pick up without blowing air back. And it's also light enough that if your little one drops it, they can actually pick it up off the ground. It has a 300 watt motor that provides smooth power delivery, and it's chain driven and it puts the power down to 12 and half inch tires with a 2.75 inch width, which provides exceptional grip on road surfaces. The throttle is one of those twist throttles that only takes about a third of the grip. Unlike some of its rivals around the same price, the Highboy's throttle is progressive. And what I mean by that is if you only twist the throttle about 20%, the motor only puts down about 20% of the power. And if you give it 50% throttle, then the motor only puts down 50% power, and so forth. And this really helps the rider learn throttle control. And the total length of the DK1 is about 46 inches. The seat height is about 21 inches, and the height of the bar clamp is about 25 inches. And to give you some perspective on the sizing of the bike, my daughter is about 44 inches tall. The handlebars are about 22 inches wide and have a 5 inch rise, and they measure approximately 30 inches from the ground. The high boy also comes with rear brakes that work really good, and they don't require much strength from the rider to slow the bike down. The DK1 has three different speed settings, the first being low speed, which limits the speed to 5 miles an hour and it's a really good starting off point for kids who have never ridden an electric dirt bike before. The medium speed limits the speed to about 9.5 miles per hour, a setting that my daughter enjoys the most since it's not too fast or too slow. And high speed gives the DK1 a max speed of 15.5 miles per hour. I'd only really suggest this setting once your kid becomes really comfortable with the bike and the power. And I did have my daughter test each speed mode with a speedometer app, and the modes were as advertised. The DK1 also comes with front and rear suspension. I think that the rear suspension works relatively well for the price, but the front fork does seem to be a little stiff. But I am curious if it's going to break in after a couple more rides. The DK1 is rated for a max rider weight of about 140 pounds. It takes about 4-5 to five hours to charge, and it is IPX4 rated. The DK1 comes in either blue or black, and it retails for $550. By the time it's recording, you can pick one up for $480. So overall, I'm extremely happy with the build quality and the performance of the Highboy DK1. I think that for the money, it's a great way to get your kids into riding. What this bike does really well 
is it lets your little one grow into becoming a better rider with the speed modes. And it's a bike that you can use for many years. And even if your child can't balance yet on a bicycle, and you want to get them started on a bike like this, I think investing in training wheels that can be attached to a motorcycle is a great idea. And even though this video is more of a general overview of this dirt bike, I will be releasing a video in the future with a full on review, where I'll not only test the off-road capability of this bike, but also how it compares to the competition. And if you have any questions about the Highboy DK1, please put them in the comment section, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Also, I've left links to both the Highboy website and Amazon, if the DK1 seems like the dirt bike for your little one. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great one.